Accessible navigation outside the building includes all surfaces on which we walk, such as footpaths or pavement. Depending on the venue, this is the way, for example, from the bus stop to parking facilities or public space to the main entrance of the venue. Navigation is accessible if it fulfills the FFZ requirement. The first F stands for free passage. The second F for flat surface. And Z stands for zero barriers. The waist should have sufficient width and height and be free of opt opticals. For example, if people want to go from point A to point B, they need enough space to pass each other easily. It is recommended that paths outside the building should be at least 120 to 180 centimeters wide. Narrow paths should always have a minimum width of 90 centimeters. Signage, flags, or other overhanging stuff should allow for a height of 210 to 230 centimeters. A surface needs to be flat or slightly sloping. It should be continuously paved and safe, also in wet or frozen conditions. Therefore, it is essential to use slip-resistant materials for the pavement. A lot of accidents are caused by small level differences. Therefore, zero barriers means to avoid all obstacles on a path. Even the smallest gap can cause problems. A white cane can get stuck, just like high heel shoes. As mentioned before, pathways should be flat or slightly sloping, not exceeding a gradient of 2%. Even a gradient of 4 to 6 percent might require additional physical efforts to go up a path. For example, when you push a baby stroller. You can even feel the gradients when your body is tilting to one side. Sometimes a footpath and a building are on a different levels. Therefore, some buildings have both stairs and a ramp. So everyone can choose the most comfortable way. Pathways should always intuitively lead to the entrance of a venue. The entrance should be clearly visible so that people know where to enter the building. This includes exterior lighting and signage, for example. A sign with the name of the building that help people find their way around. From a universal design perspective, Everyone should have the same experience, enter venue while the same path, and follow the same way. However, for big venues, accessible outdoor spaces and accessible entrance might pose serious problems. For disabled people, it might be comfortable for them to be in the middle of a group of people. People who have hearing difficulties or wheelchair users might feel trapped in the crowd, especially in large events and crowded locations. In this case, it is a good idea to designate a special Zoom for people with disabilities and their families or assistants in the parking area or entrance area. In Belgium, for example, the Palais 12 in Brussels is part of a bigger complex. As you can see on the map, there is a special space reserved for parking nearby the entrance. People can directly take the stairs or ramp to get to the entrance. To sum up, the FFZ principle stands for free passage, flat surface, and zero barriers.